students now we are going to take the illustration number one okay so before starting this question i would like to tell you that it is a very basic question which all students should know how to solve it your study about trigonometry would be incomplete if you are not able to solve this question okay the question is like this given 10a is equal to 3 upon 4 find the other trigonometric ratios of angle a okay so the question is like this we have been given 1t ratio 10a is equal to 3 by 4 and with the help of this t ratio we have to find the remaining t ratio that is remaining 5 t ratios of the angle a okay so to solve this question what we have to do we have to first of all take a triangle abc okay and it should contain an angle a it should not be placed at an angle of 90 degree because it is not equal to 90 degree okay so because we are applying trigonometry we are going to take a right angle triangle and we are going to mark an acute angle as equal to a okay after this what we have to do we have to mark hypotenuse perpendicular and base with respect to this angle a so first of all without any problem you can mark the hypotenuse it is the longest side the side opposite to angle of 90 degree okay so you you will never face any problem in marking the hypotenuse with respect to angle a the opposite side is bc so it will be the perpendicular okay and remaining side can be nothing other than the base okay so this will be our base so it is very easy to mark hypotenuse perpendicular and base okay so if you are sure about the opposite side then you can never get the combination wrong okay so because 10 is equal to 3 by 4 so this can be written as perpendicular upon base and with respect to the triangle which we have taken it can be written as equal to bc upon ab okay so actually bc upon ab has the ratio equal to 3 upon 4 okay so this means that bc is equal to 3k that is the length of bc is equal to 3k and the length of ab is equal to 4k okay so with the help of this ratio which was given to us we have calculated the lengths of the two sides bc and ab if the third side ac is known then we know the lengths of all the sides and we can easily calculate the t ratios 